I think it's uh, because you know you're not going to play for another two weeks. It's always nice to for that break to leave with a positive feeling. Of course, in between the two games, um, the game against Upen and Ghent, we, we're training, we're in, we're working, we're trying to develop, trying to improve. But it is you know, 14 days between games. So, mm -hmm. yeah, of course, want to try and do well. Want to try and build on the performance that we had against Club Bruges, which I thought was positive, particularly particularly at the start of the second half, I thought we played really well. And over the, over the 90 minutes, I thought we put in a, a decent performance. It's a shame we didn't get anything out of the game twi uh, points-wise, but it was yeah. it was a positive performance. And of course, yeah, we want to we want to try and um, build on that for this game against Upen. Well, when I was uh, when I was manager of Swansea, my assistant Claude McAlealy, he he left me to join Upen as as manager. So we've had some discussions during that time that he was there. Um, part of Claude going there was his close links with when we both worked at Paris Saint Germain, yeah. the link with um, Qatar Aspire Academy. So that was the reason that he went there, and we obviously had discussions about what their ideas were, what their project was, what they were trying to build there. Uh, and of course, I've, with our analyst, Stuart Metcalf, been looking very closely at their team, their strengths, areas that we think we can exploit, a little bit about their coach, their individual players. And they've had a good start, haven't they? They've already shown that they're a very difficult team to... Afternoon. They're a very difficult team to beat um, unbeaten in the last five games, four draws and um, a win in there. Decent performance against Anderlecht. I think the game's quite even in terms of the two teams. Both teams try and play football, play the same system. I think it'll be a good game. Difficult one to call for the neutral. Gory's, Gory's get getting there. Yeah. He, has a, he has a bit of an issue with the shoulder. He's a little bit uncomfortable with it. Um, he is training, but uh, not 100%. Not um, Leo Lopez making good, good progress. Leo missed the pre-season pretty much yeah. with, with COVID and also with the transfer um, situation with, between Hull and us. So he missed a lot of training time. He's done well to accelerate his physical fitness. Yeah. He had a little bit of an ankle issue that was irritating him last week. But with every day, he's getting closer to being, to being involved. I think while the, uh, while, while the window's open, we'll stay open to some possibilities, both in and out. Um, but I don't anticipate anything uh, large scale or drastic happen. It could be that nothing happens. It could be that some very small things happen, a few days. I think if anyone comes in, it has to be a, um, a really good opportunity. We're not actively searching for anything. It would have to be a, a possibility that's sort of too good to turn down. And, uh, and that's also the same thing with, with, with any outs. If there's going to be any outs, whether it be a loan or a permanent, it has to be something that works very well for, obviously, the player, but also for our organisation as well.